Hey everybody, it's 8 Blaze here with Ryan and Sarah, and we will play some more Pokemon Sword. And my kitty's running away from me after she farted. Why did you poot? Why did you pooty? Why are you gassy? <laughs> gassy kitty. She's so fat. Hey, future husband. Uh huh. <coughs> Jesus. The tents still air on the pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more to, than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past that fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world and I can't get enough of it. You can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Wait, hold on. Look, hey, look at the monitor. What is that on the big screen? I just want to fight the champion. Hello there, Leon and Maxie. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. What? Dude. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I just wanted to have a normal Poke battle and become the champion. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. What the fudge, Rose? I just want to have a fight. Lee, Maxie! That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is a is the real champion time. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? <laughs> I want to help my brother, Maxie. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark. Once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean he's bringing that about? Where And where did he, we even hear that name? Um, where did we hear that name? Do you remember? I don't know. Where did you hear that name? Brian, I'm asking you because... Pick I one! Statue of the Hero in Motostoke. Sonia said something about back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring it into the darkest day with the sword and the shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? We should try to find them, Maxi, but where to start looking? Duh, back in, um, back home. Because that's where, yeah, back home. You sure about that? I don't know. It doesn't feel right to me. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though. Sarah, where did you fight it in the beginning? Was it the Slumbering Lodge? Yes, that's the name of the forest. Oh. That's it, Maxi. I'm sure it's got to be the Slumbering Weld. That illusion you tried to fight off that day, it must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the Slumbering Well. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Oh, cool. We didn't have to travel anywhere. Huh? Maxine Hop? Oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. Thanks. What are you two doing here? Visiting home. Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw to that and is sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering weld? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. They're what, what are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? 
Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Maxi? I suppose if the lessons are true, then the sword and the shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. That may be just what we need to beat back the black storm. Okay, here, take this. You should head to the Slimming Weld. Lumber. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. I thought I clicked it. All that matters is that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer, after all. Ready for this, Maxi? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it'd bother us now, we've both grown loads stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going to the forest after Wooloo that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. We're distracted by cats. <coughs> key, key. I would just avoid these guys, they're way too weak. <coughs> Jesus. I don't even know if I have a wraith body. <coughs> I didn't catch anything. Well, the forest there. is bigger now. So keep going. Oh, I definitely have him. Hey, big girl, why are you meowing at things? She's going to tell you about it now. Level two. Really? Uh just run from the damn thing. Why? It's still going to take the same amount of time regardless of what I press. And now I can watch it die. And that's what I want in life, is for everything to burn and die. No, that's not the proper response. Is it actually bigger? Or is it just the fact that I can explore more? <coughs> That scared me. It's a Galarian wheezing. I know, but I'm not gonna... Cat, what are you doing underneath the blankets? Whatever she wants. Well, she's tickling my feet. Yeah, but I wasn't expecting him to just, like... I don't have some of these Pokemon, but I'm not worried about it. Cat? Cat, what are you doing? Alright, I think she's stuck. You're going the wrong way, just FYI. I figured. This way? Oh, I'm gonna go this way so I can get the Pokeball. Well, that's not the Pokemon ball I was looking for. Okay, I guess Cat. Gonna... Pokeball. Why do you always say Pokemon ball? Pokeball. <laughs> I don't know. There's just so many things wrong with me, Ryan. Clearly. Like my brain. I didn't mean to run into him. <coughs> Okay, the cat's just... Leave the cat alone. I actually don't have him, so... Just give me a second. She wants to be under the blanket, I think. Here, you want the blanket? She's, like, glaring at me so much tonight. Love you, too! What a butt muncher. Well, you were glaring at her. I wasn't glaring at her. She was glaring at me first. Mm-hmm. Chip, chip, Tyrio. No. What? You don't like my accent for the... I want to go this way. <coughs> I don't know what this is. A trap. Oh. I literally walked right in there, didn't I? You, you were just standing on it. I didn't know what it was. <coughs> <laughs> My brain's like, this looks familiar. What is it? And I wasn't expecting it to, like, just pop up and attack me. Mm-hmm. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. That's it. Oh my goodness, Ryan. They're out and about. Ah! 
so awesome. They really are here. The sword and the shield Pokemon. I knew it! Baby girl causing trouble. Wait, I just realized he's missing part of his ear. We need... Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? Looking for the Pokemon! Oh, come off it, Sonia. You must have seen that, right? Th those sh sword and shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What, then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the shield Pokemon Zaman... Sorry. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering weld. Sometime, sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Tess, Sonia, thanks for digging into it. Even if it is just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield that those two used to carry are still here, too. Why did he run without me? Buddy! Help! <coughs> God dang. There has to be some Pokemon that's in here that is not out in the world. We're catching. Ooh, cutscene. Swanky. And they found the hero sword. Pull. <laughs> Feet the great darkness. Would you take a look at that, Max? You know, that, that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely fills the stuff of legend. <coughs> yeah, the, the Lord legend Almighty. of Zelda, because that's <coughs> the theme I got from this. Ha 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 ha. But Hop clearly has the Triforce of Courage, and I have the Triforce of Wisdom. Yeah, except for you're the one getting the sword, retard. Shh. I want the sword. Was it switched for you? Yeah. See that, Maxie? The sword and the shield, the legends really were true. Walk, walk, walk. Just gonna pick up this thing. Rusted sword, yeah! That settles it, I'm taking the shield. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? Seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. <laughs> I don't know if these rusted old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but... Well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Those Pokemon left it for us to find. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. I thought that would be something. Oh yeah, I guess I'm leaving? Is there anything else? Fly, fly to... Oh, I can watch. fly now? Okay... It is... Right there. This one? Yeah. Literally where the flag... Oh. Try going back into where Hop is. That area. Oh, then fly? You, yeah, you might be able to fly from in there. Well, we'll test out. No, no. Well, you can't do it anyway, but. Huh, maybe I'm supposed to have one more cutscene. We haven't run into so um, Sonia again. Yeah, Sonia just. Try using an escape rope. Does it count as. A, does this count as a dungeon? Escape rope? Does yeah. anyone have that? Yes. It's in your key items. Oh wait, this does count as a dungeon. Oh, so that's why I can't tell- Whoa, okay. <coughs> now I'm you not. can fly. Okay. Hey. Well, if it isn't Maxie and Hop, 
it's a, it, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match and something like this has to happen. And Sherman Rose thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Gal Gal Galler's future. It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm off to help my brother. And he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key th thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon. We've got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Gala region? Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with her fiercest rival. All teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger in a Hammerlock Stadium with you. Thanks. I'm going now. Bye. It's going a lot faster than I thought it would be. You're going to prison. <coughs> Gym challenger, you must help me. I, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamaxed for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Ryan, I mean, Mr. Ryan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternius. Eternatus. Apparently the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the ch champion's younger brother, too, but who knows what it is going on. Okay, so... Which one? The elevator! This elevator? The only elevator in there. There's only one elevator? Going down, going down. Hop, hop, hop. Let's up. Okay, I'm just gonna go. <coughs> Chairman Rose. You're stupid, but I like your hair. And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Stopping the darkest day. Helping the champion. Stopping the darkest day. Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day, or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must be seen that I am doing something terrible. Yes? I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the Galar region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been given the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock? That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't not let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. I mean, what he's trying to do makes sense, but at the same time, he's not doing the right thing. His name's Marco? I didn't know his name was Marco. That's the company's name. Oh. All of them would be named that then. Still. What he's doing isn't right. <coughs> You're pretty tough, yes. Entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? Oh yeah, buddy. I don't know why he has to make comments about his fighting. Yeah, we'll just keep it. Well, I should have switched.
Sarah gets her ass kicked. Yeah, sorry. <coughs> there was like a slight problem with her mic and whatnot. And I know I'm literally getting my ass handed to me. Like, I've lost two Pokemon, as you can tell. And one of them is my baby, my pride and joy. So I'm a little bit pissed. I'm guessing all his Pokemon Steel type or something. No, 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 not necessarily. He's kicking my butt though. Is it, is the champion gonna be harder than this? Well, yeah, I guess all his Pokemon have been Steel. They've been a ver they've been Steel and something else. Yeah. Well, that's where I think I was getting my ass handed to me because I don't have a lot of Steel. That. Not Steel. Not I mean, problem. you know what I mean. I don't have really that many. I should have brought him out a long time ago. I didn't even think about it. Because now I'm... Baby girl, don't stare at me like that. Perserker. Man, I should have switched to him to begin with. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have lost two Pokemon. I didn't even think about it. I was distracted to be fair, so I couldn't really I'm I can't boring. say much. No. Oh ho, down to my last Pokemon. Hmm, this isn't looking too good. This just seems like a really disastrous thing to Dynamax in here. Yeah, this doesn't seem- Oh yeah, I forgot I have the um, Gigantamax of this guy. Gigantamax. That's what I said. What's wrong with what I said? It's Gigantamax, right? I'll show you a move that's hit- that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. Ah! Ah. Um. That is huge! That's so gigantic, isn't it? Yeah. He's really, really, really big. Like, kind of terrifying looking. Oh, super effective and a crit. Well, it's a steel type. Yeah, but I wasn't expecting to be a crit like that. Yo, yo. Oh, come here, my little baby. He's so cute. I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled, that sure was satisfying. Dude. Most impressive, Maxie. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to have graced our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. And I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. Are you a princess, Rose? I do tend to r ramble on. I know I love to make speeches, but I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Wait, so... Discouraged? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. Okay. Uh -huh. You might heal up real quick. And I think we're all, we'll call this episode of Pokemon Sword here. If you guys enjoy it, like and subscribe. We'll see you all for our next video. See ya. Laters.